What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve percent proportions, all right? Now, the equation you use when you're solving percent proportions is this one right here. And this one just basically says, part over total is equal to percent over 100. So let me clear one thing up for you. There's two key words, and it's these right here. So of and is. So whenever you see the word of, next to a number, that's talking about the total, okay? And whenever you see the word is next to a number, that's talking about the part, okay? Because figuring out which one's the part and which one's the total can get confusing. So if you use this little tip that I just gave you, I think it's gonna clear these up a lot, all right? So let's try this first example. So this one says, what number is 75% of 90? Okay, so let's fill out our formula with some information that we know. So the easy one to always identify is the one that has the percentage sign on it, okay? So whichever one has the percentage sign is the one that goes right here in the percent part. Okay, so this is gonna be equal to 75%, right? So 75, and then that's gonna go over 100, over 100. Okay, so now we just have to figure out the part and the total. So here you can see it says of 90, right? So whenever you see the word of, that means the total, okay? So that means 90 is the total. So 90 goes on the bottom, okay? And then on the top, we don't know what number this is, right? Because it says what number is. So again, you can see is is one of our keywords, which is the part, right? But we don't know the part because it says what number is. So since we're trying to solve for the part, I'll just abbreviate that with a P. Okay, so now that we have our proportion set up, now we can solve this using cross multiplication. So all that means is I'm gonna draw a cross and those are the numbers I'm gonna multiply together. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply P times 100. So P times 100 and then I'm gonna set that equal to my other cross, 90 times 75. 90 times 75. Okay, so simplifying some things, P times 100, I can just write that as 100p, and that's equal to 90 times 75 is equal to, if you plug it into your calculator, 6,750. Now, we're trying to solve for p right here, right? So in order to isolate this, we have to get rid of this 100, and you do that by dividing by 100, okay? And what you do to one side, you do to the other. All right, so these hundreds cancel out, so on this side, we're just left with p and that's equal to 6,750 divided by 100, which is equal to 67.5. Okay, so your answer right here is P is equal to 67.5. So what number is 75% of 90? Well, that would be 67.5, all right? That would be your answer. All right, let's try just a few more. Okay, so this problem says, 36 is 25 percent of what number okay so again first thing you do is write down your formula right so we have that right there the second thing is just reminding yourself that when you see the word of that means total when you see the word is that means part okay so going back to the problem it says 36 is right so that means 36 is the part so i'm going to put 36 right there so that's on the top now it says 25 percent so remember the percent is the easy one so we would just put 25 right there where it says percent and that's going to be over 100 right this always stays the same it's always 100 okay of what number so again of means total right so of what number well we don't know what number that's the number we're looking for so again in order to solve this proportion you just cross multiply all right so first of all 36 times 100 is on one side times 100 and then that's equal to our other cross n times 25 or in other words 25 n okay so simplifying here we have 36 times 100 which would be 3600 and then that's equal to 25 n so we're trying to solve for n right here. So in order to isolate it, I'm gonna divide by 25 on both sides. 
Okay, these, these cancel out, so I'm just left with n on this side, and that's equal to 3,600 divided by 25, which is equal to 144, okay? So n is equal to 144. So again, 36 is 25% of what number? 144, okay? So that's your answer. All right, just a couple more. All right, so this problem says what percent of 27 is 9? Okay, so again, first thing you do is write down your formula, right? So we have that right there. And then the second thing, if it helps, is writing down these two key words, okay? So it says what percent of 27? So remember, of, of means total. So 27 must be the total. And that goes in the bottom. Okay, and then it says, yeah, of 27 is 9. So is is the part, right? So 9 must be the part. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to, what's our percent? Well, we don't know what our percent is, right? What percent is what we're looking for? So we already used the variable P, so let's use N instead. And then that's going to be over 100, right? 100 always stays the same right there. Okay, so now that our proportion is set up, now we can cross multiply, right? So 9 times 100 is equal to 900, and then that's going to be equal to 27 times n. Okay, so 27n. So in order to solve for n, I need to divide by 27, right, on both sides. Okay, so these cancel out, so I'm just left with n is equal to 900 divided by 27, which is equal to 33.3 repeating. Okay, so what percent of 27 is 9? It would be 33.3 repeating percent. Okay, there's your answer. All right, let's do one more. Okay, so this one says 125% of 64 is what number? Okay, so again, first step is just write down your formula, okay? And then again, if it helps, you can write down the keywords. Now, 125% means we're going to put 125 right here, right? So let's do that. 125, and then again, that's over 100, always. And then that's going to be equal to, here it says of 64. So since it says of, that means 64 is the total, right? So I'm going to put 64 on the bottom. So of 64 is what number? So the part is what we're looking for, right? So again, I'll abbreviate that with the variable P for part, all right? Okay, so our proportion is set up. So P times 100 is 100 P, and then that's equal to 64 times 25, right? 64 times, sorry, 125. Okay, so now simplifying some things. So 100 P, that still just stays as 100 P, and then that's equal to 64 times 125, which is equal to 8,000, okay? Now again, we're solving for P over here, so in order to get rid of this 100, I'm gonna divide by 100 on both sides. So then these 100s cancel out, I'm just left with P right here, and then that's equal to 8,000 divided by 100, Simplifying this is just crossing out the zeros. Okay, so I have two zeros on the bottom. So I'm gonna cross two zeros up here. Okay, so then I'm just left with 80 over one. Or in other words, just 80, okay? So your answer right here is P is equal to 80. So again, 125% of 64 is what number? 80. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.